Today we gathered at Roots to Harvest to learn how to preserve bone broth and blueberry jam. We had Arlene Mikas young who's from Wawa Kapewin, come in to teach us about preserving. We started the day off with an elder opening and Jessica and I talking about how our days are going to be going. We started off by making bone broth by putting bones in boiling water and adding different vegetables and spices to give it flavor. We let that boil until we could see the color change and then added it to glass jars to be put into a pressure canner where it can continue to boil and fully seal so they can be stored for years. The importance of bone broth and preserving bone broth is that we are hunters and gatherers and by using the full animal we're honoring its life and making sure nothing goes to waste. Also bone broth holds a lot of nutrients. So by boiling it down into a liquid form, we're able to get all those vitamins and minerals and things that are really good for our body. A few of us went blueberry picking before this workshop so that we could experience the whole process of gathering blueberries to make blueberry jam together. How we made the jam was first blending all the berries together, then adding four cups into a large bowl. We then added sugar and then the pectin to make it into a jelly jam form and blended it all. After adding the pectin, we then let it boil until it was bubbly and liquefied and then put the jam into jars and submerged into boiling water, doing the same process of putting it in the pressure canner to fully seal it. After learning and cooking, we enjoyed the food we made together. It was even more delicious having spent all those hours picking the blueberries, making the jam and eating together. It was a very special moment and a great day. Miigwech to everyone who came out this day. Uh, to the youth, to the elders and knowledge keepers, and Arlene Mikasyang.